Yeah, First it was Gahil coming. Gahil is our... Gahil is the angel. Friend angel. And he only comes, he doesn't ask, people don't ask him questions. He comes to tell you something. Gahil That's is it. an angel? Yes. Yes. Gahil is an angel and he comes to tell you things and he does not have a conversation with you. He just... Oh, he did a conversation with me. Oh, yeah, I mean, yes, he did. Oh, but I usually if he comes, it's yeah. just to tell you something and then he's gone. I just didn't let, didn't, a fleeting thought. I didn't yeah. let him speak first because I had too many questions. I didn't know that he came with a message. So I you know, questioned him for about you know, 10 minutes until finally I said, did he come with a message? And came, yeah, that's why it came. And uh, basically I, had, you know, I lowered his energy a lot, but you know, he was patient and answered all the questions. And, <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, you did do it. You. It was nice to learn about the angels. Now I'm into angelology. He said that angels are not born are not born, no. born, they are made. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they're made by, by God. Yes. Mm -hmm. to, and you know, as I understand, th this kind of angel was specially made to help humans. Yes. And they're messengers, basically messengers of God. Mm -hmm. The main discovery was, you know, I said, you know, oh, a scientific you know, question, how do you communicate with God? Uh, you know, you're possibly the closest to God, so how does he look to you or it look, looks to you? So he said, we hear directly from God, they can hear God, but when they need to communicate something, they pray. So the angels pray to God in their angelic language. And actually I heard the angelic language. Many, many hear, hear the, like I also heard the language. Which sounds very, very much like human language. Yes. So they pray too. And their prayers to humans are, are very healing. Mm -hmm. So we, we had a, uh, an angel come in and uh, he gave us blessings. So that was, was intense. I had some people yeah. see the angel behind me a couple different times. Mm -hmm. And he asked us to a teach you to teach you. Right? Super realistic. I've never seen them so realistic looking. Yeah, and they're moving. and. Oh, you're seeing them? Yes. <laughs> yes. They're They're, super, super I've had people look at me and say there's an angel right behind you. Now. And usually it's a And they describe him to me. Here, did you see so. the hill? Peter, did you see the hill? I'm sorry. I, 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 <laughs> yeah, well, I'm seeing one particular here, but there's others that are in the room. But Yeah, there's more. Super, there's, right? Can you like, describe him? Well, it's, 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 all, it's all in shades of white. Yes. Uh -huh and brilliant, brilliant white, and a, a bit of gold outlining. So, it, you know, depending on, and you can't look at it directly, you have to look at the angel, like, like, um, out of the corner of peripheral your eye. Peripheral vision? Mm. Yeah. Peripheral. Yeah. yeah, the peripheral well, vision is when you can see it the Does most. Does anybody know through, Cookie? And they become super realistic, yeah. Lady Cookie, one a lady mm -hmm. named Cookie. Yes. Mm -hmm. She actually, the first time she met me, she said, "I see an angel behind you," and she described the angel to me, and she said the angel turned around and showed her his wings. So. Yeah. And um, she was like, "Going, wow, he's like two feet taller than you." So he's the angels are very That's huge, very huge, yeah. very Just large beings. Standing. They're very, they're <laughs> giants of individuals. So. Oh, come on, it's just a reflection. Come on. <laughs> what do you think? She said it's just a reflection. So. Yeah. <laughs> what? What do you say?